I ask myself, is this it? Is this is this actually how my life is supposed to turn out? Is this uh, the best of my abilities? Is this is this success for me? Is this what I had imagined uh, life would be like at 40? These are all questions that are crossing my mind that have been crossing my mind for for some time. I thought let me just sit down and uh, record record down my feelings, you know. Not just to share them, but also for myself to go over. One thing that triggered this conversation or brought this thought to me is a conversation that I had with my sister some time back. And I remember her telling me um, of a situation where she found herself in and she was telling me, you know what? You only have yourself. You only have your... The only person you can 100% rely on is yourself. And uh, she she's a few years older than me and she has been independent for for quite some time. And she's like uh, someone I look up to when it comes to um, doing your thing, doing your thing as a woman and just being independent and when she said that at first I thought a bit I felt a bit um, sad that she didn't say you know I can always rely on you as my sister but later I realized I what she meant what she actually meant that at the end of the day no matter what no matter if you are in a relationship no matter if you come from a close-knit family like we do at the end of the day the person you can a hundred percent rely on is you you know that if you ask yourself something or if you decide to do something you can always say yes or no you know to yourself and you can push yourself but anyone else you can never be a hundred percent sure and uh, today morning as I was just getting ready to go leave for work and I was thinking actually it started yesterday evening when I came home and when I come home usually um, depending on uh, the things that I've managed to do what was on my to-do list on that day I decide when I, I need to wake up uh, so that's when I set my alarm and I felt so bad it, I felt so bad that I was setting my alarm for 5 a.m. If you know me, I'm I'm a very I'm not a morning person, but life just forces me to wake up at five because I have to work uh, very early in the morning. If I don't work in the evening, then I have to work early in the morning. And and then today morning, uh, I was just making breakfast and I was in a rush. I was running late. And I was putting dinner because um, I have a crock pot, which is a lifesaver. And I was putting f- dinner because I was planning in advance. I was saying to myself, you can't come home and cook. You'll be tired. Just put something in the crock pot so it cooks. When you come in the evening, there's always a, there's, there'll be a meal ready. And as I was doing that, I was already thinking, Today I work a bit less hours. I'm usually home by around 3, 3 p.m. And I was already planning. There's laundry. There's laundry that is dry that needs to be folded and ironed and kept. There's laundry that needs to be washed, to be hung. Um, there's, There's just things that have been piling up. There's a YouTube video I need to edit. There are videos I need to film. There's a podcast episode I need to edit and post i need to update the website i need to do some posts on social media i need to read i was just thinking is this how is this it is this 
the pinnacle of my life, you know. Um, and I was also thinking about not just this routine, but also thinking about I need to keep on doing this, you know, waking up in the morning and going to work for the next maybe 20 years because I know people, the people around me um, who are older, I look at my parents who have retired in as much as they worked their whole, like almost their whole lives. My, my mom worked for over 40 years. So now she's retired. But it's so unfortunate that even as she has retired, I know how much she struggled when she was working, you know, um, because she had children to take care of, bills to pay. And now that she's retired, it's not like she's living in abundance, you know. Um, she has a little bit of, um, uh, we call it pension, uh, that she gets because she was employed by the government. But we have to, it's not, sust she, she cannot sustain herself 100%. Um, we have to chip in, you know. Um, and I'm just thinking, at this time, I would say 40 is like the peak. I'm just thinking I only have like 20. If That is if I even have the energy to work for the next 20 years. Um, and already now, you know, you, I count every single cent. I'm just like, if I do this, if I buy myself coffee, if we eat out, then there's something else that we won't do, you know. Um, we'll stay home this time. We cannot travel uh, on this time. We, you know, it's just about, life is just about balancing. I'm self-employed. So every single uh, invoice that is paid, I have to take out taxes. I have to take something for in medical insurance. I have to take something for um, other insurances that I need to pay. I have to pay for my website. I have employees that need to be paid. You know, I, every, and I'm just thinking, is this sustainable? Is this it? Is this, is this it? Um, is this what I thought 40 would be, you know? Um, and and I, I, I'm, I'm around people who are also self-employed and I see them thinking about working working until they cannot work anymore because there's th the myth of financial freedom, I don't see it. I see it online. Uh, I have to admit, I, I, I know a few people who are living financially free lives, um, but most of them have come from wealthy families. You know, there's gener that generational wealth. And another thing that I remembered is um, my parents and especially my dad would always tell us, you know, about people, people we knew, people he knew, his friends. And um, we would always know, okay, we see such so-and-so from these families doing extremely well. They've bought a car, they've built houses, you know, their children are going to study abroad. Um, but mostly they are usually politicians um, or just up doing shady deals, just not doing things the correct way, you know. And my parents try to really live a straightforward life, you know. Uh, my dad and, and my mom, they they did what was right you know there were no shortcuts um we went to school we didn't get jobs because they knew people no it was actually you just go go to school and hopefully you'll get a job and you can live your there were no, no shortcuts no no uh, 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 someone up there uh, a top leader or uh, someone in a big company um who we knew or who they sent there was nothing they were just like concentrate on your work and and 
live a, a righteous life, you know, and work hard and, and then you'll get there. And sometimes, you know, now I look back and I see, I see people, see people we knew, people we grew up with, people we went to school with. And some people, we know how they made their money, you know, or their parents made their money. And they are just, they're they are living stress-free lives, you know. Um, it, they're living in abundance. And sometimes I just wonder, I look at my parents, I look at us, it's just been, we work. You, everything that we have achieved has been hard work, you know. Um, just hard work, you putting in, putting in, putting in. It it just it's I think for me I felt really I was like to what end was was it living a righteous life, you know, like what my parents did. Um to what end? To what end when they leave nothing um for their children because they had nothing to leave for us, you know, because they invested into our education. And I'm just thinking I don't want that for my children. I don't want that for my children. I don't want to. I am, we, my husband and I, we are doing our best to give them our best, you know. But there's no like this pot that, pot of gold that we've saved up for them. No, we actually, um, Working hard to provide for the life we have right now, yeah. There is nothing left to for the future, you know. We just trying our best to provide what we can now and have some saved up for emergency. But there is nothing like some sort of inheritance, you know, some sort of cushion that um, the next generation can fall on. And it's really scary. It's really scary. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, probably it's just me rambling. And uh, I don't know. How is it? How are you faring on? I don't know about you. Um, I, do you share the same feeling? I it's just, it's something that is on my mind every single day, you know? I'm just thinking, is this it? Is this it? Is this, is this success? Like, do I need, because I think there was a moment I was actually thinking that I have reached, you know, at times you see things online or uh, entrepreneurs talking about, I don't know, making six figure or seven figures or, you know, and I was telling myself, you are fine where you are, you know, be content and be grateful but there are moments when I am grateful, but I'm I, I'm not content. <laughs> I'm not content because I'm just like, w why should I be content? Contented with this, you know? Do, don't I deserve more? Don't can't I do better? Um, should I stay? I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like, am I sitting in my comfort zone? But also on, this, on the other side, I'm like, maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. And I should just sit here where I am. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If, if, you, f if you feel the way I do, or if you share the same sentiments, uh, please let me know. Um, share with me in the in the comment section. 
um i don't know uh just start sitting um, i i want to sit down with this feeling and try and just figure out um what next yeah <laughs>